Hi everyone, the Queen is back. The Queen of Sweden. <laughs> uh, it's been an awful week, super stressful. It's been chaos, but I can finally be her again for a moment. It feels so good to be her. It's so weird to fantasize about being her, you know, when I can't. It's, uh, it's like another entity, another me, but it's me, but another person, another soul. It's so weird to describe it, but it's still me, so... It's supposed to be non copyright music, but there's still commercials in it. I don't use paddings or anything, this is my real body, my real curves. I use really big clothes as a guy, so you can tell I'm this curvy normally. I don't have time for games people, uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, elaborate on a topic that uh, uh, I'm the type of person that uh, really don't need other people in my life, I'm very comfortable all by myself, I don't need friends, I don't need partners, I don't need, uh, I don't need people, I'm completely satisfied by myself and that makes me, of course if I find somebody that's gets me uh, I get some kind of attraction as a friend or any any kind of other attraction I might give it a chance but in general I'm very happy with my own uh, com uh, company I'm very happy with my own company and uh, I don't need other people so 
once in a while when I let people into my life uh, it's a risk I take because it interferes with my uh, free time and space usually because these people are not like my, me you know they don't they have dependency on others they need people they need they need others to be there for them or they feel bad I'm not like that I'm completely comfortable by myself and so uh, when people I introduce to my life start like draining me and taking my time and energy I dispose of them this fast I don't care about the past the hours we spent together nothing I just poof you're gone if you interfere with my personal space my personal my personal time and energy I will I will remove that person from my life because it serves no it serves no purpose other than making me lose time and energy on another person so that's how I am as a person cold-hearted to according to some you can just you know get rid of people in my life my friends you know if I but life has taught me that you can never make promises like becoming friends forever you know and all of that there is no such thing there's only circumstances that keeps you bonded with another person and circumstances change all the time so uh, I never make that promise you know that's why marriage is total bullshit complete crap marriage is a fraud no no, no don't ever get married people uh, anyway uh, as, as I was saying you can't ever be in somebody's life eternally and I don't even have a guilt of conscience for removing people that are toxic and takes up my time gives nothing back that's how I am as a person you may hate me for it I don't care uh, my time is precious to me me as a person I'm the most important person in my life always except my daughter of course she's the most important but then, then afterwards I come as the most important in rank and everyone else is third fourth and fifth and sixth place so that's how I am as a person I don't value friendship higher than myself I don't value the emotions of others I'm off the left hand path I don't reason that way so now you know that about me if we are ever like friends or dating or anything if it somehow doesn't benefit me, I will easily walk away without having even the slightest guilt conscience. I just want to clarify that. Sorry for being a bitch. <laughs> Subscribe, please.